well. The reason why nobody's parents want them to be actors, why it's every parent's nightmare, mm -hmm. is because it is a very... It's a very tough life. You don't have any consistency when it comes to finances or knowing where your next paycheck is, knowing where your next job's gonna be. If you're ever gonna get a job, period, it's like you're constantly on this shaky ground, or at least for the first many, many years. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that this industry has a way of testing you. Um, it does everything possible to make you quit. And the people who stick it out are the people that then have the potential to go on to do something, hopefully right. great. So you're gonna wanna quit, don't quit. Mm -hmm. That's my, really my only advice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Don't quit doing it. Well, in retrospect, and it's always a lot better when you're looking back and like things turned out okay. Mm -hmm. Because when you're in it, you really don't know. And you know, it can be, a very isolating thing to, to choose to do this with your life because oftentimes it's not like you and all your best friends go and become actors together. It's usually like your best friends go off to get real jobs and you go do this thing. So you feel very other than. And I think that being an actor, what I, it became kind of a safe haven for me because I always felt a little other than. Mm -hmm. And then I was just around a group of people who were the other thans in their communities. So... Just know that it's going to suck and you're going to be depressed and it's going to be really, really hard and soul crushing. But I also think that the rejection portion of it, while brutal and awful, does get easier. I mean, you're not, you're going to be rejected for far more roles than you will ever get. The percentages, like if you really break it down, it will astound you. And yet when I got a little older, and I had friends who had more normal jobs, they would go on a job interview and get rejected and be fully devastated for mm -hmm. like an extended period of time. Because how many job interviews do you go on out in the real world? Like five in your life, right, maybe, yeah. big ones. If you are an actor, you're getting rejected like on a weekly basis. So mm -hmm. it thickens your skin and you just get better at handling rejection. It makes you, just by the nature of what it is, so much more resilient as a human being. I always found with auditions, and I do still have to audition for things sometimes, um, know your lines very, very well. Just like memorize the shit out of those lines. But I... I know people who never like to go into a room with their pages, right? They just want to be totally off book. Mm -hmm. I never have once done that in my life. I, even if I never look at them, which I rarely do, I like to have them in my hand just in case. So my little trick was always, you know, in your audition sides, there's always like a few lines that you always screw up and you can't remember the cue. Just like highlight those or write them big in the margin so you can just glance at like that's your cheat sheet and mm -hmm. you should use it and mm -hmm. I think in England people expect you to be off book in America they don't yeah. use the pages and then somehow in those early days it dawned on me like if you can walk into the room and have a bit of a conversation with the people that that's not available as an option at the very beginning they just kind of shuffle you in and out and make you feel like cattle and it's again very soul crushing mm -hmm. but if you can if you it will calm you down to have a little chit chat with the casting directors or whoever's in the room and then you do the scene and then you do another little chit chat charm them at the top charm them at the exit mm -hmm. it does a lot yeah. of the work <laughs> yeah. for you yeah and hopefully impress them in the middle but but you got to show you, <laughs> right you got to yeah. show you're a real person I think, so. I think so i think it's helpful yeah. because they really don't you know casting directors see so many hundreds of actors that they're not thinking about each individual's journey and how like this job may be the job that you told yourself, like if I don't get this one, I'm quitting forever. Like mm -hmm. nobody knows how heavy it is in each individual moment. So I guess try not to take it personally and just keep getting back on that damn horse. Yeah.